Right, RS Zero Hour Crisis in Tutorials. We are rebooting the tutorials. We've shied away from it and we've done other things and we need to get back on them. So, here we are. Brand new look, much more concise. Nobody's getting stoned. Uh, but here they are, so hopefully this is going to help. We're going to break things down into small bite-sized sections. It's going to make a lot more sense and we're just going to deal with techniques and um, hopefully when we piece that all together, everybody will be a prop maker. That's the goal. Hey folks, welcome back to the RS Reboot Zero Hour. We're starting all over again we're rebooting the tutorials we're going to start at the very beginning and we're going to start with the three easiest ways to cut and finish plastic when building armor helmets pretty much anything so over the process of the videos we are going to put together your ideal toolbox so all of the tools that we're going to use are from a famous website I don't know why I'm saying that, I'm not from the BBC. It's Amazon. So just about anybody anywhere in the world should be able to get hold of this stuff. And um, we've got a brand new page with links on there. So it's dead easy to get hold of it. Let's see what we've got. First of all. Cheers. So that's the first box. Let's have a look in box number two. Oh, new toys. Dremel 4000. I'm not even going to bother with this one today, but we'll just talk about it a little bit. It's like the drill press workstation for the Dremel. Not sponsored by Dremel. Yet. Okay. So we have the Dremel 4000. We tend to like the 4000, they're harder to kill. Comes complete with the flexi shaft. Cannot recommend this enough. We use this all the time. So what I'm also gonna use and recommend is the uh, keyless chuck. Change the regular head for the chuckless. The keyless chuck. Nice. So we're gonna show three different ways on how to cut and finish plastic. First, we're gonna use the dremel. Nice and easy. It's going to be noisy, so bear with me. I'm just going to change this out. So we're going to take the cutting disc out and go for the sanding bob. So there's a couple of different ways to hold the Dremel. When you're cutting, I tend to have it like a like a fist. And when I'm sanding with the sanding head, it's much more like if you can imagine the the technique when you're using a pencil. So. Hold it like a pencil. And this is the kind of finish we're going to achieve. 
So, you, ordinarily I would build the helmet before I start trimming this out. But this is just a demonstration of the trimming. So when I'm done with that, quick sand just to re remove any of the rough uh, plastic from the inside. And that's using the Dremel to cut the plastic. Cutting plastic number two. Cheers. Now these are basically scissors for the plastic. It really is as simple as that. So I'm just going to cut down where I want to join these pieces. Now, a couple of advantages with the shears over the Dremel. One, you get a nice clean edge. Two, it's not noisy and it doesn't interrupt you from listening to your death metal. Three, I don't even know what three is. So that's two ways to cut plastic. Let's just go have a quick look at the third way. Nice and easy. So I want a nice 20 millimeter cover strip. Now, it's much more important to hold your ruler still than it is to go deep into the plastic. Slipped. So hold that nice and still. Give it, give it a score on the top, and then you can repeat. Then all you need to do is bend, bend the plastic, and then your your score runs the whole length of it. So from there I'm just going to quickly uh, prepare another one. Right, let me just take you over a couple of these points again just so that we, we know exactly what we're doing with the cutting we can move on to more exciting pieces. So when using the shears, shears with the armour, we don't want to cut in this this fashion. Oh, let me show you on the top because it's a bit more obvious. So what we don't want, just trim that. Right, if I'm trimming this area, I don't want to use the shears across this. Can you see that? Across this right angle. Yeah. Can you see that? Because the problem is, the problem you're going to get is the shears are going to try and force this flat. When that happens, it can split there. So you want to avoid that. And the way we avoid that is by, first of all, cutting a slight angle that way, and then you can cut the angle that way. And that's how you avoid it. So you, you don't want to cut right across there because it's going to flatten this and split the plastic. And you want to avoid that. That's quite important. Second one, when using the Dremel. When using the sanding bob we want to use this area of the sanding bob so down here I've said this before use this area what that's going to achieve is you're going to be able to correct yourself before the sanding bob comes clear of the work and you drag it you drag it up the work so say you're on this bit say you're working on this section it comes off and drags up there and you end up with big you want to avoid that so use this back edge of the sanding bob Okay, one other tip, if you're not confident with the Dremel, turn the speed down. That's going to make life a hell of a lot easier. As you build your confidence, you can turn the speed up then. So those are the basics on cutting the armour, and that's going to see you right. If you can master that, then you're going to be able to use those techniques across, whether it be armour, helmets, anything that's, that's plastic that we build in here, these are the, the techniques that we use.
So there are three, three main ways of cutting. The Dremel with the cutting disc, the knife with a nice sharp blade preferably, and the shears. Cheers. And we've got a nice, clean, trimmed edge. Three ways that we cut plastic. Using the Dremel, using the shears, and using the Stanley knife with the straight edge for the, obviously for the straight bits, the cover strips. Um, so all of that, if you've took that in and it's made sense to you, all that is going to be relevant in the next video when we start actually building some armour. Uh, in addition to that, we're also going to build a toolbox. So everything that you see used in the videos, we're going to start putting on its um, some page on Amazon. But even if you don't buy it off Amazon, it doesn't matter. You'll be able to see exactly what product you need to be looking for and you can find it somewhere else. It doesn't really matter. But it's all going to be there and we'll, we'll slowly, as we use the the whatever tool it is we'll stick it into that page and then you can you will understand what it's for decide whether you want to buy one whether you want to use something else or go your own way it doesn't matter we're just sharing the information and hopefully it's going to be a help to you all and you'll be prop makers in no time join us next time for god knows what <laughs> but i'm sure it's going to be fun uh, I'm sure there was something else I wanted to say before we go. Oh yeah, like, subscribe and uh, turn on the notifications. We all know how to do it now. And if there's anything you've seen in the videos you're not sure about, drop us a comment below and we will address it in the comments and maybe in a video, depending on what it is. We do read all the comments and um, at least if someone comments that we know somebody watched it once.